Hey guys, welcome back to Greedfall. We are going to continue where we left off. Uh, we had just finished the quest uh, in the series, and we have a couple more before we get on the boat to this island that everybody's been talking about. I think it's tier something. Yeah, I thought I should recall something, but. Okay, let's head out. See if I remember the buttons. Uh, we this is the main quest here, and we have a side quest down here. We have to find a little kid. I think that's the last, the last quest we have. So let's go. Uh, okay. So yeah, I'm I'm enjoying this game. There's a lot of, you know, go here, do that, but this can be fun. I got turned around. Okay, space. There's no jumping in this game. Okay. But there are, there is a bunch of loot everywhere. I should remember to sell before we get on the boat, so that way. I have enough space. So the kid, the servant, that hand was somewhere here. Do you hear that? Yes, that's Constantine's voice. It's coming from the upper floor. It sounds as if he's locked up. And oh, no. I have a feeling they're expecting company. That's her cousin. Be careful. The slightest itchy word to these brutes will have them drawing blades to scratch it. Negotiation may be the solution. As you say, this breed of brutes won't spit on ransom money. What a waste. I'd rather sneak around them than give half a coin to these seedy fellows. So we're basically given a choice. I, I, I kind of wanted to go there. Can we just not do this right now? Yeah, we're not going to do this right now. That was the main quest, and I don't know how far it will progress if we do that. So we go down here, we make a right. So we'll go here. Oh, is that him? Good day. Someone told me that you're a friend of Jonas's, the young cabin boy who's gone missing. That's right, yeah. Are you looking for him? Yes. Your captain asked me to go and find him. Happy to hear he's taken the disappearance seriously. What can I do for you? Where is he? When did yeah. you last see him? Two days ago, in the evening. We went to have a drink in the tavern. Jonas, Lauro and myself. Did anything seem out of the ordinary? Was he troubled? Maybe a tad troubled. Like he was somewhere else. Hmm. Why would that be? Give me your best guess. Why? I haven't the faintest idea. What does Jonas do in his free time when you're on land? He just hangs around here or there. You know the cabin boys don't have half a sailor's wages. And when evening comes, we usually go down the tavern with good old Lauro. Did he ever have one too many? Never. He sips his point like it was bad medicine. One drink lasts him the whole night. Oh wow. Does what about his friends? Him? No one, far as I know. He knows you. Do you think he could have made himself any enemies? I wouldn't think that for a moment. Jonas has a good heart and he steers clear of trouble and troublemakers. I don't know where to start with this. Do you have any idea? <laughs> no. Lauro won't stop telling anyone who will lend him an ear that the boy was carried off by thugs. And you don't believe him? I like Lauro, don't get me wrong, he's like a brother. But to be honest, he drinks a little more than he should. Well, you don't seem to care. drink gets us all, but to him more than others. And when you drink too much, the imagination wanders. Here, imagination. yesterday, it was me who tied one over, and I thought I heard Jonas's voice by the canal. I called back to him. As you guess, but they're nothing. Drink. It blurs the senses. So by the canal. What do you think about Captain Vasco? 
He's a damn good navigator and an excellent leader of men. He knows his craft well, in spite of being so young. How old is he? He's not seen his 25th year yet. Oh, wow. If he keeps it up, he'll be an admiral one day. So he's very confident. Going. Farewell. That's the guy who's gonna end up sailing with us. Uh, don't close the door yet. I see. Is there anything in here? There is. And we can actually open it. Sailor's coat and some more coins. We don't need a map of this tiny room. Okay, so. So, apparently he was here. Somewhere down here. I'm just searching areas. Good day, sir. Laura. I've been told that you know the missing cabin boy well. Is that right? You're talking about Jodas. You bet your stars I know him. But like I've been crying to the nine death winds, I didn't go missing, he was taken. Okay, what do you know? Yes, I was. Even though I'd had a few tumblers in the belly, I hadn't yet lost my head. The other day, in the tavern, I saw him talking to a well-dressed man, surrounded by some other sly ruffians. And then when we left, him and I, Flavia left a little earlier, you understand? Well, those brutes were there, waiting for him. They just up and took him like that. Grabbed his arms and puff. Gone. Vanished. Why didn't you intervene? <sighs> I tried to, believe me, but my legs betrayed me, wavering they were, and I fell into the gutter. Did you report this to the captain? Unfortunately not. I know all too well what weight my words carry. Even Flavia treated me like a drunken fool. And she captain, was saying... No, not telling him that. I still have some pride left, you get me? He didn't... Uh... Did Jonas seem troubled to you? He didn't tell Did anybody? Disappear? He was your friend. For sure, he wasn't his usual self. Do you know what was on his mind? No. No idea. So we're having Why conflicting would stories. Want to snatch a mere cabin boy? How would I know? Jonas is a gentle boy who keeps his head down. You think my story is nothing but mist, too, don't you? It's just that I can't imagine a gang of thugs hoping to get a ransom for a cabin boy. Did anyone else see the kidnapping? There was still a small crowd in the tavern. But, but outside, I seem to recall that regular being there. We play cards with him from time to time. Kind of fellow who plays from morning to night time to be that skilled. But now and again he comes out. When nature calls, you know. I kind of remember his face being there. Interesting. What okay, do you what think of this Captain guy? Vasco? He's a just man who knows his knots. He's well appreciated by the crew. It's a pity that he hasn't much heart for Lass now and again. Always seems unhappy, our captain. Oh, he's your captain too. All right, Thank let's you, go. I need to be going. Strange I guess you're all part of the same Something crew. Right so let's head back to, to the, the tavern. Marked it up there. Oh. I won't let us climb. Mm, just a second. I gotta sell stuff. Hello, Johnny Depp. Have you seen anything to your liking? What might I help you with? Let's sell some stuff. Okay, um, we have a bunch of these, these are identical, quite a bit of gold for that, these are identical, what's that noise, midnight feather, Purchase. There you go. I always end up quitting. 
Um, we could get this, but it's not as good. He has all this stuff. Okay, we could get this. We don't have the willpower. These two are identical. Okay. Can I outfit you? Green blood. Do you need something? Yeah. I must leave. How does this work again? Inventory. We have us, our trees, our items. We do have more new stuff in here. This key opens the cells to the jail. World map, codex. I want to see if I can change my buddy's weapon. I don't remember how to do that. I did it at one point. I'll look it up after this. So, let's head in here. We're looking for this cabin boy. No. I'm looking for a north. A young cabin boy who's been missing roll call for two days now. A null, you say? That's not a lot to go on. There are quite a few that come to my tavern. According to one of his fellows, he would have been taken right here. A kidnapping? In my establishment? You sure jest. Well, at least I hope you do. I would have noticed. That doesn't hold water. Someone told me about one of your faithful clients. A big gambler, you would see. I see. An able-bodied man. Passes his time lightening the pouches of sailors coming through. Where might I find him at this time? Here? He would never give away his chair at this table. Anything <laughs> else? No. I need to be off. Farewell. Goodbye. He doesn't seem happy. Goodbye. Just like that. The guy who never gives a... Is it you? Passer by. He's right there. He gave up his spot on the table. Who are you? I don't recognize you. Am I in your debt? Yes. No. Have no fear about that. It's for a different reason that I am here. I'm looking for a new that guy that disappeared two days ago after visiting this establishment. A young cabin boy. Two members of his crew accompanied him. Yes, that does ring a bell. I've played with the three of them. What can you tell me about the boy? How was he that night? He seemed rather nervous. As if he was worried about something. Didn't feel like playing, that I remember. And he must have been right to be nervous. If he's disappeared. Tell me what happened that evening. A rich merchant came in. With a band of strong arms. The kind of men you can round up for a few coins, if you catch my drift. They exchanged words with the cabin boy. The kid was defensive, not sitting pretty. And then they finally left. And what could he that, do with them? It just like... so happens that I did go out for a breather. I needed some fresh air. And I think I might well have seen those same men grab him. But that was none of my business. I wouldn't have thought that they were kidnapping him, if that's what it was. They weren't particularly rough with him. Who okay. was the rich merchant, do you think? A jilted lover? A moneylender? No, sir. You are in luck. It so happens that I know them. It was Sir Fontaine, that merchant. The guy Where just sold stuff him? to? He has a house in the wealthy boroughs, just off the canal. A stone throw from the Tulema Embassy. Thank you. You've been immensely helpful. I was just this there. This man is completely owned by his love for the game. Do you think we can trust him? What would he gain from life? I have no idea. Move, move. But what would any wealthy merchant gain from holding a penniless child? Okay. The Fontaine House. A 
apparently we gotta go. Oh, we gotta talk to there too. We gotta go there too. So we'll just follow this up. Yeah, hopefully we can get on the ship by the end of the episode. I kind of want to go to the island now. I'm, I'm, I tend to be a completionist and try to finish up all the quests. So that's what I'm doing right now. Yeah, go, we gotta go to that guy first. That's interesting. Oh, wealthy he Might is. I help you, sir? I would like to have a word with Sir Fontaine. He is absent, but the lady of the house could certainly receive you. Enter, please. I was wondering why you were walking towards the wall. Okay, so... Nope, don't go outside. So the doors do open on their own if you run into them. That's the lady of the house. She looks angry. Oh, I know you. I've seen you at court. You are Lord de Sade. And to what do I owe the honor of your visit, Excellency? I would like to have a word with your husband. He is not here. But perhaps I could be of help. It concerns a delicate matter. We're looking for a missing cabin boy. According to witnesses, he had an argument with your husband before being taken. I see. I am afraid that you have been misled. You seem to have come to the wrong conclusion. The cabin boy you speak of was not taken. He was his son? returned home. Excuse me, but I'm not sure I understand. Don't you see, Your Excellency? We got our son back. I am very surprised. Several witnesses confirmed that your son had a fight with your husband and that his men escorted him from the tavern using force. If he had joined your husband willingly... Witnesses? In a tavern? And you choose to believe these drunkards over a respectable family? Yeah. These witnesses are all in agreement and it's I their will. testimonies that have led me to your doorstep. My son was probably shocked to have found us. My husband and the other men might have simply had to carry him. A gesture that your drunkards must have misunderstood. Hmm, that's why the Nauts would have taken their son. What was your son doing on a Nought ship? Why would they have taken him? It is what they do. Through pacts and contracts, they steal away young children from their mothers. What are you talking about? I would have thought that a Legate would know these things. But it is true that you are young and inexperienced. It seems that you have been protected from the turpitudes of our own nation and their terrible allies. This horrible, constant ransoming that they put us through. But I will not say another word. You will have no trouble verifying the details now that you know what to look for. No, no, no. I find your son now? Yeah. I cannot say, Excellency. You must understand why. Nope. Until the Norts have set sail, we live in fear they will take him back from us. I need it's to packed. see him. It sounds like some fear-inducing story. The Norts wouldn't be the first to recruit through dubious means. Okay. I mean... He was free to go home. He knew where his parents were. Now, now what do we do? Let's talk to this guy. He's part of our main quest. I don't know what he's gonna give us next. Okay, so... Captain Morgan. He has a little bit of a halo around his head. My cousin Constantine and I are departing for Tear for D on the hour. Ah, yes. I did indeed hear talk that you had both received callings of Dude. greater stature. Allow He's me fine, to this guy, but you. Were you not Cardinal Antonius looks a little plastic. You are correct, Excellency. I thank you. It is a station of great honor that I am sure you will fill with brio and panache. Panache. The Mother Cardinal Cornelia will be enchanted to work with you and your cousin in the future. I only regret that your departure is so sudden. Really? To be entirely honest with you, 
I was hoping to solicit oh, your help okay. in One more quest. delicate matter. Tell me more about it, and perhaps I can take care of your problem before my departure. Very well. A small group of dangerous heretics Is it the guy outside your house? In Serene. We know that your uncle tolerates the presence of all pagans within the city walls. But these particular non-believers threaten the fragile harmony of this place. We would consider it a tremendous favor if you would arrest them and deliver them to our guard. Heresy is not a crime in Serene. You do know that. But I'm sure my uncle would hear your arguments. Why call on my intervention? The prince would indeed give us his blessing. But it would take time. Far too much time. For according to our sources, these fugitives have already made contact with a smuggler to take them who knows where. I see. You're hoping that I'll be able to do something before they make it to an enemy city. If your heretics are planning on boarding a ship, then they must be in the dockyards. I'll look into this and see what I can do. Oh, hey, what can we ask about? Could you tell me anything about Tulane? It would be a pleasure. As you already know, our glorious nation is guided by our faith. We follow the teachings of Matthias, our founder and greatest prophet. And give thanks each day to the Luminous for having gifted us magic. The high dignitaries of Teleme oh yeah, we, are we're at the magical. same time forgot about spiritual that. guides, advocates, and grand mages. I've heard say that dissensions have appeared recently in your nation. Ah, you must certainly be speaking about the debates that have divided the Ordo Luminous and the more political orders. The Lord Luminous has an extremely pure vision of our faith and applies the words of our saint very strictly. But other, more open-minded factions exist within our nation. They believe that a less rigid dialectic would attract souls more readily to our faith. But their differences are purely theoretical and do not threaten the cohesion of our nation, I assure you. Interesting. What's your point of view on the relations between our two nations? There's a lot of cutscenes and talking of Tuleme, in the game. I can only rejoice at the mention of 20 our minutes in, still nothing. We appreciate like well watching a movie. welcome that your uncle gave to our missionaries. Thanks to your support, more and more believers wander your lands. The congregation is our most precious ally. To be perfectly honest, we have only two complaints. He talks too far, that's that what it is. The is tolerated, and that your treaties with the Bridge Alliance are maintained. Okay. How is Tuleme faring, Tirfredi? We built a so marvelous is like San Mateus, the religion, on the western or coast of the island. Did you know that the certain city. historians live in believe Tuleme. that it might well have been the final resting place of our prophet? Our missionaries there are a multitude. Not a day passes without new islanders joining our sacred faith. Of course, there are certain pockets of resistance. There is talk of a demonic cult. Disgusting creatures. But I am confident that the Ordo Luminous will be able to put an end to these Oh, are those... Horrors. So, yeah. So this, I, what I read about this game is there are several the different factions, and the clothes we wear will, will like, obviously ranks. match that. I don't know if we have to choose later on which faction. We have to go to the relation with the bridge line. They don't like the bridge line. With the bridge lines. Your territory is, alas, the only one that has been spared from the ravages of war on the continent. We fight on every front, without great success. So, what is he a priest or a general? But what other choice do we have? These so-called savants not only refuse the light, but are determined in their fight against it. And on Tirfredi? 
To my knowledge, no one has yet seen any serious fighting. The bridge have succeeded in provoking the natives there, and have their hands full keeping them at bay. Which leaves us greater latitude to settle peacefully and pursue our mission of conversion. Cool. You do that. What else? Bye. Must be going. Farewell, Have fun Sensei. converting people. May the light guide you, Dasade. Under his eye. We can't go upstairs. We can never go upstairs. Hi. Sorry. I'm sorry, I'm afraid that I won't make for good company. Okay, thanks for offering though. Now, this guy wanted me to do something, right? I thought he wanted me to do something. Captain Vasco, and that's the main one. We have we have two quests here. We have to learn more about the Notch contract and find the struggler. Smuggler, not struggler. So I think I'll find out more about the smuggler first and then I will find out about the Notch contract. Because they are the Notch. We're going to have to travel with them eventually. Okay, so. Go, 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 go. Waving me down. I still don't see Constantine at your side. I hope he hasn't been the victim of any foul play. He's fine. We'll find him in time. For He's in jail. We'll go, we'll go get him. He's captured. So. Uh, would you be in need of my help in any way? Yeah, we've got uh, quite a bit of an issue. What will be your official title on Tier for D? Or are you just here to keep an eye on us? Come now, don't be ridiculous. I'm coming in the capacity of official advisor. Nothing more. But His Highness has also asked me to report to him on certain strategic observations. I am therefore required to take note of all events, chart the island and its resources, and also obtain as much knowledge as possible concerning the more dangerous creatures of the island. Let's get to the Your help shirt. will be extremely valuable to me. I have no longer the legs of an adventurer. <laughs> it's always a privilege to help, Master. Okay. I need to be leaving. I have quite a few things to do before we raise anchor. Just say bye. So, you <laughs> I was actually supposed to talk to you. You and I have a couple things we gotta so, deal with. You still haven't found your cousin. As you well know, we cannot leave without him. Have we'll no be fear. fine. I will bring him back in time to make our scheduled departure. Is everything ready? I'm still without news of my cabin, boy. But we will have to do without. Uh, let's find out. Have you seen anyone wandering about? Suspicious looking. Maybe clandestine passengers. Take a look around. There are far too many Cullens and Gullens to spot possible stowaways. As long as they don't try and get on my ship, I pay no attention to them. That said, we did catch ourselves a smuggler just a while ago. Smuggler? Mm -hmm. Maybe he could be of some use. Where could I find him? In the port jails. Not far from the warehouses. I already have the keys. Why the sudden interest in smugglers and the odd stowaway? Mm. Nothing to bother yourself about. I'm just curious. You wouldn't, by the sheerest of coincidences, be on the trail of a couple of heretics, Your Excellency. The same a couple of the ambassadors of Telebe's men have been looking for nigh on two days. And so you know about that? Of course. Cardinal's henchmen are hard to miss, even in a crowd. And they were making quite a fuss, hoping we would cave in and help them in their hunt. Feel free to carry out your own investigation, but you'll end up with the same answers. The port brigs, just like the warehouses, are property of the Nords. No one else may enter. Well, that's fine. I spoke with a woman who told me she was the mother of the cabin boy. She claims that her son was taken from her. Take it. Her son is sea gifted. His parents were required to give him to honor the terms of a contract. A contract. What contract? But what kind of contract are we speaking of? A commercial contract. In exchange for services rendered by the Nords, some families seed more than gold. In some cases, nations even trade some of their subjects before they're born. I wouldn't be able to tell you the condition of Jonas's contract, 
I didn't even know he was originally from Serene. But what I can't is the young man hasn't seen his parents since he was a small child. And ever since, he's been naught. Our ships are his home. We are his only family. Okay, can we ask you about anything? No, okay. Be back soon, Captain. We need to have a word with that people smuggler the sailor mentioned. He's a captain, okay. Kurt, like yourself. And in order to interrogate the smuggler, interrogate we need the to smuggler. find a way into his jail. Uh, what's the quickest way to the jail? Around here? Maybe we can actually do some fighting, or maybe they would tell us to stealth. Yeah, duck. Go duck. Okay, this is serene. Okay, cool. We have to go around. Can't go from here. Looks cool to climb, though. Do it's back here. Okay, so technically we're not allowed here. These guys again. Oh, you can see me? Whoa. Finally, some fighting. Okay. Is everything okay up here? Oh. I'm just gonna kill all the people who live here, right? I didn't even mean to go in the building. I keep pressing space. Of course, I don't have lock picking. Something around here. Green blood. Why are you, you red? I'm asleep. Okay, let's go. I didn't do anything here. Must be a way in. You cannot pass. Only the Norts have access to the prison. Okay, what do I do? Climb. Can't defeat me. You can't keep me out. <laughs> okay. Unlock it by moving the wood in front of the door. I've seen a few escapes. Are you the smuggler? You snuck yourself in here just to ask me that question. <laughs> some sort of trick to get me to admit to some crime. You are truly twisted. You can see for yourself that I'm no Nord. Come now. Are you the one I'm looking for? I'm already locked up. What more do I risk? Yes, I am a smuggler. But I'm not the only one in this city. I'm searching for a couple fleeing to Leme. They're trying to leave the city discreetly. Have they contacted you? You certainly can't imagine I'm going to answer you without getting something in exchange. I don't really think of my clients as kin, but I'd never betray any of them for free. A real saint you are. How about your freedom in exchange for your loyalty? Tell me where I can find them and I'll open this cage. That works for me. Your two telemites are hidden in a warehouse behind this very prison. They must be waiting for me. 
But you might want to be quick about it. If the Norts get their hands on them, they'll find themselves in this same cage. Well, that's okay. Any time. And these doors? You're gonna open them, right? Of course, of course I'm gonna Come open them. Come on now. Let me out. You promised. Please. Locked. Locked. Use the key. Thank you, my lord. And don't worry about me. I'll slip outside without being seen. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. Okay, so... Check the heretic side out. Let's get out of here. Well, I figured out how to use my melee weapon. You don't, you don't see me. Orders haven't changed, you know. No one passes. Can't you make an exception? No. Sorry, sir. Move along, please. Now. Very well. I'm going. Well, that was interesting. So, I've been in this building before. There's a way to get around it. Over here. There's a box here. Let's go over here. Let's climb this thing. Now nobody will see me. I'm pretty sure they can see me. Okay. Well, there's a ladder here anyway. Climb this thing. Hello, heretics. Damnation. We've been found. I told you that the smuggler was not worthy of our trust. The man to which you are referring was arrested and thrown into prison, but reveal to me your hiding place. Oh, the traitor! Have you come to deliver us to the Inquisition then? Please, please, have pity on our souls. We have committed no crime. We are not heretics. We are nothing more than historians. In that case, why is the ambassador of Kaleme so concerned about your teachings? Because you're hiding why something. Why is the Inquisition looking for you and why are you hiding? Our only error was wanting to publish our work. It's true. We presented our research, but it didn't please the censor. And here you have the result. We fled all the way to Serene, thinking we would be safe. But the Inquisition wants to silence us so badly that they followed us here. Okay, what did you find out? Tell me more about your research. What about it is so horrifying that it would provoke such a fuss? Our work concerned the teachings of St. Lucius, the disciple of St. Mateus, the one who returned to Teleme after traveling with his master. The very same. His writing was carefully preserved, but never seriously studied. With the discovery of Tirfredi, we thought it crucial to take a look at the original text. We wanted to verify if this island could have been the faraway place that he spoke of. The Eden of St. Matthias. And? What did you find? Tirfredi is without any doubt the land that our St. Matthias and his disciples went to. But the text that we discovered was radically different from what we expected to find. In the original text, St. Lucius doesn't speak of an Eden, of the paradise of the Illuminated. He speaks of a voice that came from the depths of the earth, which convinced St. Matthias to stay there. It was written in black and white, and there is no doubt about it. The original was written in Lucius's own hand. I understand now what that text has cost you. 
This voice from the depths sounds more the power of a demon than a saint. The sacred texts are always difficult to interpret, but what is written is written. I guess they're taking it literally, so... What's this? Who were you hoping would give you asylum? We were hoping to reach Al Saad. The Inquisition won't chase us into the den of their enemies. Al Saad is Our bad too, won't though. Our the bridge alliance, or at least I doubt it. But at least we'll be safe. By entering Al Saad as clandestines, you risk being taken for spies. That would be better than being burned at the stake. Okay, well you guys are screwed no matter what. Did you try speaking with the census? You could forget what you had discovered, perhaps. Oh. We have signed already an abjugation stating that we misunderstood the sacred texts of St. Lucius. We were even ready to say that we had never seen the true text or anything else that would have pleased them. It served no purpose. It's our lives they are after. I see. Well, you have no other choice but to run and seek refuge in enemy territories. I beg of you, please do not deliver us to them. Let us continue on this path. Yeah, I'm gonna let you continue. Propose to speak to the Bridge Alliance ambassador. Yeah, I'll we do could that. have a word with the good Dr. Sahi, the ambassador of the Bridge Alliance. If he can be persuaded to offer you asylum, you would be saved. Your goodness honors you. May the Illuminated forever light your path. They can if give us information about the, the place we're going. You'll need to refrain from that sort of blessing. Stay here. I'll be back. Yes, yeah, stay here. Stay here while I make the dangerous trek back again for the third time. No, I just literally forgot to take this chest here that I can't even take because it's locked. Hey, let's go. Jump down. some stuff here. I'm gonna grab the stuff. Take everything. Yes, take everything. Let's go. Okay, so that guy, I remember, he's way in the corner. He is way up here. Nobody's probably gonna like the fact that we're talking to him, but that's okay. So where do we need to go now? Jeez, I should have really anticipated that next quest. Let's let's talk to this guy that's over here. Yeah, the guy who weighs us down all the time. But I still don't see Constantine at your side. It's fine. I hope he hasn't been the victim of any foul play. Don't worry, we'll find him in time for departure. It's I fine. I hope so. Will you be in need of my help in any way? Yeah. I've had a word with Lady Fontaine. You must know that, that rich family that lives near the docks. She told me a strange story about her son who was a cabin boy. I bet he made the contract. She said that he was taken when he was a child due to some contract with the Norns. Who was a cabin boy? Do you mean he's no longer one? They took him back to bring him home. Well, that is very unpleasant news to Sade. We need to do all we can to bring the boy back to his ship. Since time immemorial, there's always been a certain price to pay for the services of the Norns. Children born on their ships belong to them. It's the rule of the sea. But certain contracts sense. are so important that they also require children to be offered in exchange. From time to time, the congregation has passed such accord, and certain noble families had to give their children up. Are you telling me that the Fontaines lost their son because of some agreement signed between my uncle and the Norns? Um, no. That pact ended a long time ago. This cabin boy couldn't have been a part of that contract. But Sir Fontaine has made a fortune trading with the Alliance. Uh, via ships. Do you mean he would have offered up his own son in exchange yeah, for Yeah, sure, why not? Well, he probably did it before the birth of the child, and regretted it afterwards. But that is of little importance. What counts most is that you bring the boy back to the Norks as quickly as possible. Breaking a contract with the seafarers has always cost us dearly. 
Our nation could feel it in its coffin. They won't trade best. with us anymore. A father selling his own son for a few boat rides. For ugly, that is ugly. Lady Fontaine didn't seem to have any knowledge of that. Detail. So that could be of use yes. So we'll save that guy last. We'll talk to Al-Sad and he should be able to help the heretic. Shortcut. That guy was in uh, I need that mask. It reminds me of Final Fantasy. The one on Nintendo 64, that one was the best. They had uh, one of the characters who was a mage who would wear a mask like that. I'm already getting in all the place. Okay, I need you. I need a favor. I would like to talk to you about a rather delicate matter. I am listening. A couple of historians have made a recent discovery concerning Mateus, the founder of the mythical Teleme. And it seems that this is not to the liking of the Illuminated, or at least his more fervent subjects. These sinister hypocrites are going to want to burn them at the stake. Without a doubt. And that's why these poor people are begging you to offer them asylum. We are willing. Where are they to be found at this time? At the port of Serene. They were hoping to stow away discreetly on a vessel to al -Sad. Very well. I shall send an escort immediately to take them somewhere safe. Okay. I need to be going. Goodbye, Excellency. Goodbye, Lord de Sade. We owe you our lives. We are eternally grateful. Oh, that, that, that's, that's nice. I hope you won't have too much difficulty adapting to your new country. If you would allow me, I would like to give you this. Yes, something it's important. Not much, but... It is all that we possess. Farewell. You have a kind heart, green blood. It will be the end of you, but that doesn't bother me. I would have okay. To I gotta tell this it guy. That I'm not the only so we help the heretics. Which I'm very much okay with, because... I mean... You can't... You can't hide things just to protect your beliefs like that. Come on. You can't hide knowledge. Good day, Excellency. Sir Desade, to what do I owe the pleasure? I went against you. Uh, yeah. It pains me to inform you that the heretics you seek have fled. I'm an awful lord. How could that possibly have happened? Everybody got away. Lie, I'm a lie. Yes. These renegades have found protection with the ambassador of the Bridge Alliance. I would not have been able to capture them without risking a diplomatic incident that my uncle would have condemned. The Bridge. I thought as much. Those heretics have turned to them. But I had hoped that you might intervene quickly enough to stop them. It is truly regrettable. We have nothing else to do but pray that the Luminous might shield us from their lies. Everybody lies. Okay. I must be going. Farewell, Bye. Bye bye. May the light oh, I leveled guide up. you, Dasade. Not for lock picking though. Magic. Okay, let's see what... Uh, how do we... Do you need something? No. I must leave. Bye bye. Okay, so let's see. We leveled up. We can get. We have one point. We need two points for this, right? Flight 8 increases combo speed of shadow impact. So we can get this. Useful to stay alive. Instantly heals the caster. That's super useful. That's really useful, actually. Um, so this one is. Shadowverse knockbacks and deal damage to all enemies around the caster. Uh, we're not really going there. We're more on this this route. So we would get this. Uh, uh, we don't need heavy weapons. So this is the healer tree, and this is the damaging tree. Shoot. So this is more a defensive side. Damage plus fifty percent. Uh, this one is, what, Relentless Shadow, 
increase the damage of my shadow burst. Toxic, there's toxic, I love toxic stuff. And this one is Fury Generation. Over here is damage. Okay, so we'll we'll work down these two trees. And that should be good. So we will get stasis last longer. I will start using stasis better. Let's look at uh, how did I do that? Space bar, it was space bar. So Actions. I am going to set this to... Nope. See, that's not what I want to do. Okay, this one I will bind to one. And actions, techniques, light. Light I will make bind to zero. Potions I will bind to equal sign. But then go. I'm, I'm kind of happy they kind of extended it past that. Okay, so this is, has been a really long episode. It's kind of not what I wanted because, well, we never found that kid with the knot. Well, let's see if we can do it quickly. Maybe he'll, they'll return it to him. This entire episode has more been has more of like has been more like movie time. Note to attention, I would like you to prepare several meals and bring them to the warehouse we you, we own on the canal. My husband will work there with his clerk and his men for a few days, so make sure there's enough food for everyone. And be discreet. This document mentions another property. A warehouse. That would be a great place to hide. Shall we take a peek? Yes, we are going to break into their warehouse. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna break into the warehouse real quick. Let's see if I can do it before I hit one hour. <laughs> That's a very long time for a video. But, we are... We are just gonna give you guys the content. Oh look, stuff. Armor ointment. Take everything. Okay, so the warehouse is here. Look at the water freaking out right there. We have more stuff here. Water's totally freaking out. What about on that side? No, only on that side, water's freaking out. There might be a better way to go. No. Sure, let's just barge in. Let's just try to remain discreet. This is full on. So, Dasada, what are you doing here? I've come looking for your son. The Noughts are worried about his disappearance. Uh, those Noughts took him from us, but now we've got him back. And he'll be. Is this a boss fight? Would you be so kind as to hear what I have to say, Sir Fontaine? Attempt to reason with him, tell him. 75% chance. I'm not going to threaten him. Taking your son against his will and have him locked up like merchandise in a warehouse. Is that what you call being a good father? If I hadn't taken him, there back, we go. he would have been hauled off on one of the cursed ships. If that's what he wants, then why would you want to stop him? For his mother. She misses him so. But in the end, you may be right. My boy has changed. He hasn't spoken a word to me since he Well, he doesn't know you. He traded his life for well. money. Take the key and take him away. Cursed be the day I delivered my son unto the Noughts. Did it yourself? You leave the nest one day or another, sir. Farewell. Oh, so much for being discreet. So where do we go? Free constant. Okay, he's over there. Okay, that's the way out. So, 
a big warehouse actually. Locked. Locked. I couldn't just pick them out. Again, cannot pick. Okay, do I have skills for it? No. Alright, go back, cabin boy. My name is the Sade. I am legate of the congregation. Your captain has sent me to find you. And were you able to convince my... my father to allow me to go free? Yes. Even if I had to bend his arm a little. That doesn't surprise me. He seemed to have no intention of changing his mind. I feel more sorry for my mother. She seems so sweet and happy to see me. You don't seem to be all that close to your parents. I haven't seen them since I was five years old. I barely remember them. They find me, capture me, and lock me up in this warehouse. Hard to grow close after all that. My family is the Norts. I am sorry for my parents, but that is the way of it now. Can I go home? Yeah, yes. you can go home. You should still go and say farewell to your mother. Then find your way to the ship. I'll see you there. Okay. Gotta tell the captain. Uh, gotta get out of here. Time is dwindling. Go, go, go. How do I get out of here? E, climb. Go, go, go. I'm, I'm seriously on a, like a time schedule here. Okay, go, go. This might end up being two videos. Because of how long it is. Okay, you gotta go tell him real quick. You still haven't found your cousin. As you well know, we cannot leave without him. Have no fear. I will bring him back in time to make our scheduled departure. Is everything ready? My cabin boy, Jonas, is back on ship. I have you look happy now. You're smiling. You do. It's a rather sad affair, and though sold, leaves a broken family behind. All we can do is plot a course. No one tells the wind what to do. I do thank you. I didn't think you'd go to so much trouble for a cabin boy. Your actions bring you on. Thank you. Be back Making soon, up, Captain. Made up all that honor I lost. Okay, guys. So, I, I don't know. This is going to be a very long episode. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it this far, I appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. Uh, have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye.